Hi guys. Um, this video I'm, I'm bringing to you today it was from a Bible study that the Lord, I feel that the Lord had led me to. <laughs> and um, there's something uh, with in this scripture that I'm going to read to you. Um, there is a meaning um, in this that the Lord is wanting me to seek and study. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and read uh, Hosea, Hosea chapter 13. And the following chapter after that uh, is a call to repentance. Okay, well, chap begin with chapter 13. It begins by reading, When Ephraim spake trembling, he exalted himself in Israel. But when he offended in Baal, he died. And now they sin more and more, and have made them molten images of their silver, and idols according to their own understanding. All of it, the work of the oppressed they say of, of them, let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves. Therefore they shall be as the morning cloud, and as the early dew that passes away, as the chaff that is driven with the whirlwind out of the floor, and as the smoke out of the chimney. Yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt. Thou shalt know no God but me, for there is no Savior besides me. I did know thee in the wilderness, in the land of great drought. According to their pasture, so were they filled. They were filled, and their heart was exalted, and therefore have they forgotten me. Therefore I will be unto them as a lion, as a leopard by the way, while I observe them. I will meet them as a bear that is behaved of her whelps. I will rent the call of their heart, and there will I devour them like a lion. The wild beasts shall tear them. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thine help. I will be thy king, where in any other that may save thee in all thy cities, and thy judge of whom thou sayest, Give me a king and princes. I gave thee a king in my anger, and took him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up, and his sin is hid. The sorrow of a travailing woman shall come upon him, and he is an unwise son, for he has not stay long in the place of the breaking forth of children. I will ransom them from the power of the grave, and I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be thy plagues. O grave, I will be thy destruction. Repentance shall be hid from thy, mine eyes. Though he be fruitful among his brethren, an east wind shall come. The wind of the Lord shall come up from the wilderness, and his spring shall become dry, and his fountain shall be dried up. He shall spoil the treasure of all pleasant vessels. Samaria shall become desolate, for she has rebelled against her God, and they shall fall by the sword, and their infants shall be dashed in pieces. And the women, the child shall be ripped up. Um, now, in the first verse, uh, we talk. Of, uh, he talks about Ephraim. Now, uh, Ephraim, uh, as you recall, was one of the, the sons of Joseph. You remember Joseph, um, the one that was sold in, into slavery by his brothers and was taken to Egypt. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Ephraim, let's see a read here. Uh, I want to uh, say this right. 
uh, and then there other says he exalted himself in Israel, but when he offended in Baal, he died. Okay, I think what the Lord is trying to tell me here. And then uh, verse two says, you "Now they they sin more and more, and have made them molten images of their silver and idols according to their own understanding. Uh, all of it, the works of crafting, and they say it of them, but the men that sacrifice kiss the calves." Um, okay. Now, uh, Ephraim is refers to Great Britain. Now, this page here shows that the evidence, uh, evidence for Great Britain being Israel or the seat of Ephraim. Now, Brit, uh, the Hebrew word for Brit means covenant, and uh, and the N word is Ish, means a people. So actually what British means is covenant people. And uh, what I feel that the Lord is telling me is that um, Great Britain is going to cease becoming a nation um, in, the, in the coming New World Order. Because it's uh, been prophesied so that uh, that Britain will no longer be part of, even part of the European Union. Um, either it will be, it will get out, or it will be pushed out. Uh, I'll leave links to these pages to, uh, for as an illustration and scriptures, uh, as to um, Ephraim and. Uh, the United States uh, role in the end, end time prophecies uh, because uh, according to Genesis for, uh, chapter 48 uh, verses 3 through 20 uh, Ephraim and Manasseh uh, they were both blessed uh, by Jacob uh, as a uh, blessing um uh, of Israel, or he said, in, in thee shall Israel bless, uh, saying that God made thee as Ephraim and as Manasseh, and he said Ephraim before Manasseh. So, you see that Great Britain came before the United States, and uh, as you all know, uh, history, uh, American history, uh, uh, those that uh, came uh, First came to America from Europe, um, came from uh, countries like the Great Britain and and some uh, other European countries. Um, so you can uh, uh, read Genesis 48 um, as uh, proof is that um, uh, where Jacob uh, blesses. Um, First Ephraim and then Manasseh, and he told that Ephraim uh, would be uh, would come. Uh, I'm sorry. What there would be many multitude of nations that would come from Ephraim. Uh, because God said. I am God Almighty, and be fruitful, multiply a nation, and a company of the nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. And clearly, Israel was to be that nation with a monarchy, which would expand to become a company of nations. <clears throat> so, um, Great Britain and the uh, United States uh, does have that blessing. Uh, as being a part of Israel and of uh, having Israel's blessing. But uh, what I'm trying to get at here is what the Lord was trying to show me in, in this. There is a number of things that was in the scripture uh, that he was showing me. Uh, and uh, I need to look at this uh, a little bit further uh, because I am running out of time. 
and uh, I was wanting to mention a few things to uh, what I had said earlier about that could be that in the end times that Great Britain uh, would be either get out of the uh, European Union or it would be pushed out. <clears throat> and I found this article in the Express from the uh, United Kingdom where the uh, EU fought to scrap uh, Britain. And uh, the senior uh, Eurocrats are secretly plotting to create a super powerful EU president to realize the dream of abolishing Britain uh, as they uh, re as they reveal uh, their plans. Uh, a group of e EU foreign ministers have drawn up plans uh, for merging the jobs currently done by Her Herman von uh, Rompuy, who is the president of uh, the European Council, uh, Jose Manuel uh, Bar Barroso, who is, who is the president of the European Commission. The new, the new bureaucrat who would not be directly uh, elected by voters is set to get sweeping control over the entire EU and force member countries into ever greater political and economic union. So it's coming, people. Uh, the power policy is all, all coming together now <clears throat> and um, tellingly the UK had been excluded from providential discussions within the shady uh, Berlin group of uh, Europhile politicians spearheaded by German Foreign Minister uh, Cleto uh, Westerwell and uh, Opponents fear that the plan could create a modern-day equivalent of the European Emperor. Uh, uh, let's see, it was uh, Napoleon Bonaparte or um, dominated by uh, Europe's uh, Dark Age. Oh, that's my face. Uh, of the uh, Roman Emperor uh, Charlemagne. Is that what I okay, and they are concerned that David Cameron's uh, coalition government is doing nothing to prevent the sinister plot. The secret talks were uncovered by independent Labour peer Lord uh, Sodert of uh, Sw Swindon. This is a plot by the people who want to abolish uh, nation states and create a United States of Europe, he said. The whole thing is uh, barmy. These people are determined to achieve their final objective. The only hope for Britain is to leave the EU and become an independent nation. Uh, the move will give a further momentum to the Daily uh, Express, hugely popular Crusade for uh, Britain's withdrawal from the EU. So this is uh, history in the making and prophecy uh, being fulfilled. And I, I better hurry up because there was something else I was wanting to mention too. Uh, I was totally oblivious at the time. I want to just mention real quick. Uh, this year is the year of the London uh, uh, Olympics, uh, 2012. Uh, if you notice their logo, it's uh, read, actually it reads Zion, as you can see here. Some think it might be mean something else, but uh, uh, I also want to mention too, real quick, I'm running out of time, that the Queen Elizabeth's Diamond uh, jewelry exhibit opens during the Jubilee celebration and um, I'll, I need to discuss this in the next video, I'm sorry, because it looks like I'm going over. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you in the next video because I, need, I wanted to discuss while this is coming into play uh, in an end time prophecy. So I'll see you in part two and of course I have some other things to share. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Uh, Jesus says you all stuff.